Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Indigo and I'm here bringing you your Twin Flame Energy Update. Um, this is for the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, uh, who are in the Soulmate or Twin Flame journey. Um, in my reading, I may refer to the Divine Feminine as her, the Divine Masculine as he. It's just, with our language, it's just uh, natural, but it can be, the Divine Masculine can be the, the female Divine Feminine can be the male. Um, it can be both females, both males. It's just whoever your counterpart is. So um, I always get that question. Can it go vice versa? Of course. So we will get started right away here. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for our Divine Feminine from the Divine Masculine? All right, Divine Feminine, what your Divine Masculine wants you to know. Okay, there's still something, oops, there's still something um, in their life that they're dealing with at the moment. Uh, with the world in the reverse, I know this is she apologize. With the world in reverse, um, there's still something karmically they're dealing with. There's a couple loose ends that need tied before they can walk away from the person that they're currently with. Um, if they are not with another person right at the moment, there's something karmically that they have not learned yet that they need to learn before they are coming towards you. They will, however, come in very quickly um, when they do when they do complete this cycle when they when they put um, yeah when they when they get everything taken care of for sure. Um, <laughs> the very next card out is the fool. A new beginning is coming very soon. Uh, they're getting ready to take that leap of faith. There's just something holding them back and they're not quite sure why, but, um, they are figuring it out, but they want you to know, to keep the faith. They are coming. They are wanting this new beginning with you. They are wanting this fresh start. They hope you forgive them. And, um, they hope you're ready to take this leap with them too. They know it's crazy, but there's just a connection between the two of you that you can't deny. Uh, both of you possibly could have tried very hard to get over each other. And it's just, you can't, you can't escape the connection. And they're, they're coming to the realization that they never wanted to get over you, even though they tried, um, they're glad they didn't because they never really wanted to in the first place. Very loving um, energy around them right now towards you. They are so close to that um, ending that cycle. Yeah, they are vibrating mucho grande. They figured it out. The divine masculine have finally figured it out. They know what they want. They know it's you they want. They know they want to build this life with you. They have worked very hard to get their feet back on the ground to, to gain the sense of self-confidence that can come back and sweep you off your feet. Um, they think the world of you and they're ready to come get you is what I just heard. Yeah, they took, it's taken some time. They realize that, but they're coming out of this state. They, they took a step back and looked at the world at every angle that they could possibly think of. And when it came down to it, you were the only thing that was on their mind. You were the only thought that crossed, um, that went through their head when it came to where am I going to go? Who do I want to be with? Who do I want to start a life with? You are the only thing that they could think of. The only thing that, um, yeah, yeah, they feel that 
Yeah, they feel that they've taken the time to actually think this through. They've actually taken a long time. Um, but at least they know that... Uh, at least they know that it's not a rush action. This is something that they have really put a lot of thought into. Neither one of you have walked away from this connection. You may have moved forward, but neither one of you have moved on. You are willing to both go to battle and fight for this connection now. Um, not that you wouldn't have before, Divine Feminine, but um, they're glad you didn't walk away is what I just heard. Yeah. Um, you guys are at a distance from each other right now, but they want you to know they're coming soon. They are coming towards you. Um, that that distance is going to uh, that distance is going to become less because they feel that you are their blessing. Um, they are connecting to you through the five D through your dreams. Um, because they are, they know how spiritual this relationship is. Um, I just got a visual. I've said this before. Sometimes my angels show me some stuff that I don't need to see. <laughs> okay, so the high priestess. It's a very intense relationship. Um, and they crave that right now. They know this is spiritual. They know that this is meant to be. They know you're destined for one another. They're just telling you to hold on just a little bit longer, but we meet in our dreams. So ask your angels to remember your dreams. Ask your angels to connect with your twin flame in your dreams. And then most of all, ask them to help you remember them. But um, the divine masculine is saying we meet under the stars and meet in our dreams. So they're really never away from you. That's beautiful. All right. Yeah, um, I just wanted to check on the Major Arcana cards in here. With the Fool, they they figured it out. I said that before. They had to figure out a balance between love that they give and self-love that they keep. They are finally finding a balance that they deserve this. Uh, they didn't think they deserve this kind of connection, this kind of love, this kind of intense passion. But they're figuring it out. They got their shit together. So exciting. Wow. Okay. For the emperor, I pulled a clarifying card. Judgment. This is the highest vibrating relationship that you can have. And the universe is putting them back into your life very shortly. Um, within the next two months for this group of you, Divine Feminine, that I am reading for, you will be in union. Full union. And the high priestess. Wow. Especially if you're waiting on a Virgo and you're a fire sign or a fire or a Virgo waiting on a fire sign. You guys are at a crossroads. You're not knowing whether to go on, move on, leave, or to give this person another chance. Um, you are going to pick the path of the right um, because you know intuitively that this is your twin flame. They could possibly be in this stage right now getting prepared to move forward. You're getting prepared to pick you. Um, this is, these both cards are um, also introspection. They are look going within and um, that's where they find you within their heart. That's, that's when, when they miss you, when they um, wonder what you're doing, where you're at, what you're up to. They just look within their heart and that's where you are. You're in their heart space. Like I said, you meet under the stars and in your dreams. Very beautiful message. Very, very beautiful. All right. Divine Masculine. What does your Divine Feminine want you to know? Bottom of the deck is the wheel. Amazing. The good things coming your way. Okay, so uh, the Divine Masculine wants the Divine Feminine to know that 
they know that you guys have a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. They know you're a gift from God. Um, you guys are about to do amazing things together. Uh, the universe is getting ready to hand you out your abundant gift. Um, most definitely. Wow, look at that. The bottom or the overall energy was the world. The divine masculine isn't has one more karmic thing to figure out. They they are completing it. They are ending the chapter they're getting out of, and the new beginning is then theirs, yours, everyone's. Um, this is what Yeah, this is what you will receive. They are ending this chapter. They are closing out that karmic cycle. Speaking of which, the divine masculine is possibly going through a divorce right now. They are actually, I see legal paperwork. Yeah, they are, um, they are most definitely could be a Libra even. Um, but they're no longer fighting the fact that, um, they need to end this other relationship. They know that they put you out in the cold or somebody was put out in the cold. They are being spiritually reborn. Yeah. This is a card of spiritual rebirth. Yeah, most definitely. They are finding the light. They also had the two of cups come out. They most... They most definitely... Most definitely... Know this connection. The Divine Feminine has no... Um, no doubt in her mind that you, Divine Masculine, are her first choice, her only choice, and her forever soulmate. They have, the Divine Feminine wants you, Divine Masculine, to know that even though they were left out in the cold, even though they felt like they were abandoned, they have found the light and were spiritually reborn, and they will help warm you. They will help you get through this, um, Divine Masculine. And they are very happy and single at the moment. Their emotions are finally leveling out. And, and they're ready to move forward with you, Divine Masculine. The Divine Feminine have also uh, put a lot of work in on themselves. They have worked very hard to heal. They've worked very hard to purge out those connections in their life that no longer deserve to be there. And most importantly, they have planted the seeds and manifestation for this relationship to come back together. Uh, the beautiful thing about a twin flame relationship is selfless love. They, uh, the divine feminine is commonly uh, the one who is the one that's hurt, the one that has to repair their heart. And in them doing the work on themselves, they also heal the divine masculine at the same time. It's a selfless act of unconditional love. So they, the divine feminine have been working very hard to heal you both. So you can come back into union with each other and, um, that she's patiently waiting for you. Way too many cards. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Oh my goodness. Yeah. When I say they worked hard, they worked really, really, really hard. No joke. Um, and they are currently patiently waiting for you. Hmm. Um, the divine feminine also wants the divine masculine to know that, um, there is no regrets for the sneaking around. If there was sneaking around there, the divine feminine has no regrets because what happened out of the deal is she found her heart. She found her soul, her soul's purpose. Um, and you stole her heart, but she also wants you to know you need to quit stealing the time, stealing the future because by you being stagnant, by you not moving, um, in a faster manner, because this has taken a long time to get to this point, you're only taking away days, time that you guys would have together 
Um, yeah, so uh, you stole her heart, but you're wasting time is what this is saying. And it's time to move forward. It's time to make that love offer. Um, it's time to quit wasting time. <laughs> Why is the wheel here? Okay. And when I channeled that message about time, I looked over and there's the wheel. The ebb and flow of life, the up and down, the endless uh, clock. The unable to stop time. It's going to come. It's going to go. Um, one second is here. One second is gone every second of the day. So um, I did pull a couple of cards. Oops. And this is what I got. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is time. It is time to put in the work and make this a reality. The eight of pentacles. And the upright is working hard and bringing something into fruition, into the physical realm. In the reverse, it's working for nothing. You're working hard and nothing is um, manifesting. Nothing is coming to fruition. So it's time to put in the work in the physical realm, in the 3D. Because temperance is my twin flame card for one, one of the many, but um, only when it's paired with certain other cards and the star is most definitely one of them. So the wheel is turning in your guys's favor. There is a reunion coming because you guys have both self healed. There is an equal balance, the marrying of two souls into one, um, the, the effortless emotional exchange of energy. It's just amazing. And when the stars align in the next two months, I do see this group of twin flames and soulmates coming back into full union. So I am going to pull a couple of romance cards. I wanted to try to keep this under 20 minutes. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for our twin flames in their twin flame journey? Divine masculine and divine feminine. Okay. Okay. So the first one out, well, not the first one out, but the first one I'm going to go over is forgiving and learning. So um, as you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So what my angels are wanting you to know is Yes, there was a lot of hurt between the two of you in the past. Yes, it wasn't easy. It took a lot of work to get to this point. Um, but they were lessons that needed to be learned. So it's time to take those lessons with you, leave the past behind, and move forward so you can feel that love in their present moment. Um, for one side of the twin soulmate connection, um, they want you to know you are, you are being forgiven. It's okay to come back for those of you who haven't forgave yet. It's time because that it could possibly be something that's holding you guys back. Um, the next card out was let your friends help you, um, ask and accept for, ask for and accept help. Um, now this is not people like physical people. This is your angels. Ask your angels to bring in your twin flame. Ask your angels to connect with them in the in the 5D. Ask your angels to help you through this journey, to guide you and take to take the steps you need to take. The next card out is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Let your twin know how much you mean to them, how much they mean to you. Um even if you're not talking, even if you are in the um, part where you are separated with no communication, talk to them 
in your meditation. The, the divine will deliver the message. The next card out is heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Those are, this message is for those who are speaking. Um, make sure uh, you guys sit down and honestly let each other know how much you truly mean to each other. The next card out was calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring the two of you together. You guys, uh, you it's so important to do your affirmations. It's so important to connect and speak with the divine. This is a divine relationship. So you have to pray. You have to meditate. You have to do the work. If you want a divine relationship, you have to connect and communicate with the divine. So make sure you're doing your meditation, your prayers, your affirmations, and visualize it. What we think we create. Um, so create it. And the last card out was reconciliation. Someone from your past life is returning to you. So with that, I'm going to end this message. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, this group of you twin flames and soulmates, it is so close. You can almost taste it. It is, um, yeah, your divine masculine is so close to, uh, to coming back. And I hope you guys enjoyed these messages from each other. And I will be back next time with another twin flame reading. All right. God bless.